Hello, my name is Nate Sherwood. I'm your new president of the United States of America, here to announce that we have some big changes going on this year at Educate Board Shop. The most awesome thing that I can talk about right now, and the most happy subject that you're going to hear today on this, on this broadcast, is uh, that we are moving Ryan Miller and Dylan Christensen up from flow status to bro status, which basically means they're going from the flow team to the bro team. We have two spots that were open on the bro team due to two of our riders committing treason. Not to insult these two riders, they were very talented skateboarders, but uh, due to them breaking into my building, destroying much property, stealing much property, and uh, obviously being the worst humans on earth and having no ethics or morals, we definitely got to let them go. As well as I'm trying to rally against uh, basically the International Association of uh, Skateboard Companies, ISAC, as well as uh, World Cup Skateboarding as well as Skate Park of Tampa, as well as uh, Mystic Cup Skateboarding, as well as Dew Tour, as well as Street League, anyone else to make sure they're banned for life from competing in skateboarding ever again, or having anything to do with skateboarding. That's something I'm gonna be working on a lot this year. But once we get the litigation of that over, and hopefully we get some of the people motor skate not to harbor, or to befriend, or to help these two people out that were on our team, my uh, Attorney General, as well as uh, my Cabinet have advised me not to talk about their names on video, but uh, basically anyone needs to know knows who they are and knows who those two purpose skaters were that uh, broke into our building and sold the property they did. I was extremely devastated to find out it was two of my team riders that did such a thing and uh, we had to fire back with a quick reaction and fire one right over their bow. Um, I have to thank the intelligence community as well as the amazing police work that was uh, done here through the detectives of Cedar Rapids as well as uh, many of my other sources that will uh, rename anonymous, anonymous right now at this time. <clears throat> it comes with a heavy heart to say these things about them. I know it took me a month to react, but I uh, had a lot of work going on during the holiday season, didn't have enough time to really sit down in front of a camera and talk in depth about it. But um, you know, this is definitely the time and place to do it right now, the first of uh, January. And these guys, you know, even though some of them were young, some of them were over 18, some of them were not, um, you know, if you, take the, if you take these two gentlemen to Des Moines to help them rack it in stuff that was stolen, if you hang out with them, if you're cruising around with them, filming with them, hanging out with them, I consider you an enemy of the skate, just as much as I consider them an enemy of the skate. Anybody that befriends them, anybody that is a guilt-based association with them, is automatically an enemy of mine. That's the bottom line. Anybody that has the weak fabric of ethics that they did and has the brains of their gray matter to think it's okay to rob from somebody that does everything they can to help them out. Obviously there's no place in skateboarding. And uh, if they're gonna screw me over, imagine what they're gonna do to you eventually. That's all I gotta say about that. But, as I said before, I moved Ryan Miller and Dylan Christensen up to the bro status. Two of the most underrated skateboarders I've ever met, two of the most amazing talented skateboarders ever. I'm really happy to have them on the bro team and be able to help them advance their career in skateboarding. As for the floor roster, um, that opened up two spots on the floor roster. The flow team is going to be doing a lot better this year. We actually have a couple more spaces opening up. So uh, here's the flow, new flow team right now. Clayton Weaver, Alex Powers, Trevor Hanks, and Skylar Johnny D are now on the flow team for Age of Skateboard Shop. I'll be seeing you gentlemen soon in the office. We'll get all this paperwork filed out. We'll get it all rock and rolling. Don't be stressing like Eric Dressen about it. We'll keep it rocking and rolling. Anyway, that, that's, that's the announcements right now for that. Um, if anyone wants to know more about the break-in, more of the details about it, um, you can stay tuned on our next little uh, broadcast like this that we're going to do. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to leave it at this. Two of the uh, four people that were involved, was it four that we figured out? My secretary state of skate? That would be what the police officers have. Four. Us. So I want to make sure two of the four people that were involved in the robbery were uh, team riders. That is confirmed. I'll confirm that. I won't say any names because... Uh, I feel everybody needs to know knows who they are. Um, anybody in the skate community that knows who they are will know this. They're very talented skateboarders, I'll give them that, but uh, their skateboarding lives are done. They're not going to make it outside of this town at all with skateboarding. Um, they're also, hopefully, will go, hopefully they'll go down a bad path and end up in jail and I'll never deal with seeing their faces again. But uh, of course, that could be too wishful thinking for me. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's basically what it is. That's, that's what it is in a nutshell. Um, I don't know, maybe I should say their names. Maybe more people need to know who they are. You know? I mean, the people might speculate that it's not them. 
Maybe they won't give them a hard time at the park if they don't know. I don't know. Should I just say it? I'm just going to say it. Forget it. Thomas Gertz and Nick Taylor are the two people that were on my team that destroyed my Christmas, destroyed my livelihood, and made it hard for me to have any, any cash at all other than to pay rent. Let's put it like this. I've been living off Top Ramen. I've been living broke as a joke. And my insurance company and everything else I've been dealing with, it's been a nightmare. It comes out to be roughly $3,000 in the fact that we had to up our ante with the security systems, the $1,500 of product that was stolen, um, our deductible, et cetera, et cetera. Not to mention the fact that, okay, true, true, I'm not a senior deputy's native. I understand that. My lady certainly is. And I have put no less than $5,000 that I've donated through video premieres, contests, raffles, giveaways, and discounts in helping out the skateboard community since I've been open in June. $5,000 of my own money has gone towards that. And that was another $3,000 that disappeared through this break-in that could have went towards helping donate money towards putting a roof over the new skate park that is gonna be designed and built in the next coming year or two. So anytime someone steals from me, they're stealing from the skateboard community. They're not just stealing from Edgy Skateboard Shop. They're stealing away from you having a better park to skate. They're stealing away from you having more fun uh, parties to go to skate-related things like premieres. They're stealing away from any contests that you can enter. They're stealing away from a lot of stuff. So just remember that. Keep that in mind when you think, big deal, who cares if that guy gets ripped off? And just remember that. Keep that in your head. All right, have a good year, everybody. This is the President of the United States signing off.